Hello all, we're going to spend a couple minutes talking about LinkedIn and how you can make that your professional resume and why you should already have a LinkedIn profile. Uh, basically, if you are unaware, LinkedIn is one of the world's largest social networks and it's sort of branded or viewed as the world's largest professional social network. So by professional, I of course mean people use it to do business, find a job, get a job, uh, offer a job to others, and that kind of thing. So it's sort of different from Twitter and Facebook and your other social networks uh, like Baidu as well, where that's more about sharing things. And there's plenty of sharing on LinkedIn, but in general, LinkedIn is used to develop connections in uh, the vernacular, where basically you connect with people you've worked with, people you want to work with, people you want to sort of add to your life experience um, and have just a very robust professional resume. So it would be the obvious first choice for anybody looking to build a professional resume for free. So let's get started. Uh, this is my own personal LinkedIn account. You don't really have a business account. Um, you can have a business account, but I recommend starting with a personal account. Uh, and this is mine. So when you log in, it's very Facebook E and Twitter E where you you can discover content and people have updated things. So as you can see, I get posts um, that are usually blog posts and then updates on connections that people have made on LinkedIn. So we can scroll a bit and the stuff on the right over here stays the same, um, but on the left it scrolls in an infinite scroll fashion, which is pretty great. Um, so over on the right are the, the familiar people you may know box where you can connect with people that you think might uh, be great to have in your professional network. So for example, here's Gregory S, a PhD student at Harvard that I know. Uh, we can connect with him. So we'll just hit the blue, blue connect button. And you can say you're a classmate or a colleague. We'll say classmate at Harvard University um, or colleague. It doesn't really matter. Um, sorry. And then here we'll do Harvard Law School. Okay, so now it just sends a little invitation to that person, and of course it'll give you a few more people you want to know. So you can just fill out all this information and it'll start recommending people to you. But the real thing we want to learn about is how to use it as a professional resume. So what that part is, is the profile. So you'll click on profile, of course, and this details all of the information about you right here. Uh, everything that you've done, and this is sort of your own personal stream, coupled with some background information. They recently redid it, so it's all pretty nice and it summarizes who you are, your experience, uh, your skills and expertise. I particularly love this. Um, and then it talks about your education, additional info, organizations, people who have recommended you, and then other connections that you may be a part of. Um, and those connections can detail or involve groups, or it can involve simply things that you're following. Like if you like NBC News, you can you know, check out NBC News and they have their own page right here. So that's always good for following news. But that doesn't mean that you're officially connected with them, of course. So we'll just go back a little bit and back to our profile. So we'll go all the way back to the top, and obviously I have some information already filled out here in my own smiling face, but let's say we want to edit some things. Um, you can do a few different things. First, uh, you can improve your profile, which simply walks you through the simple ways to fill out all of the information that you want, but I've basically done all that, um, as you can see by all the information here. So what we're going to do is actually use this handy edit button, and you'll note the drop down where you can asked to be recommended right there and that actually will put out a call on your uh, amongst your friends and connections on LinkedIn that you're looking for someone to endorse your skills and expertise which is always handy. Uh, something that is great for the developing countries which is a big focus of modern lessons is the ability to create a profile in another language which is very cool and it'll instantly do that. You can select whatever language you want. Um, as you can see there's more than a few from Albanian to Vietnamese, anything that you want. Uh, and that will just simply create the profile and give you a public facing uh, profile for you. So you can also share the profile 
export it to a PDF, which is very handy if you're someone that is going on a job interview in person. So if you are worried that this is just a digital resume, then don't worry at all because you can export it to PDF and print it to your heart's content. Uh, and then under here is the handy manage public profile settings. So that controls who can see your profile, what they can do about it, um, what, how much they can see, and it's really just your own uh, choice how much you want there. Okay, so now I clicked on edit profile. This literally lets you abs edit absolutely everything. Um, just click on the little blue pencil here and that'll show you that you can click to edit the name. So I could change my name if I get married or something like that, I can change my job, I can change my location, and just about everything. So those little blue pencils just about everywhere. So you have your summary right here and saying I'm a dog owner and all that good stuff. Uh, skills and expertise, this is a little harder to edit but you can still edit um, so let's say you're popular in, like I am, blogging or something. Um, you can change sort of what skills and expertise you want people to endorse you about, but if someone endorses you for something different, then you don't really have much control over that. Uh, education, you can always change what your education is, as long as you're telling the truth, because on LinkedIn, just because you put it on there doesn't mean it's true. I've seen many people with pretty fake uh, professional presences on LinkedIn, so I'd recommend against that. Um, and basically just follow, follow, follow all the instructions. They make it pretty simple. Uh, you can change the visibility and edit just about anything that you want on here, which is great. You can drag and drop where you want different things to appear, uh, which is also pretty handy. And that's about it. I'd suggest you fill out your resume as your first step, and then you start looking around for contacts. LinkedIn is going to throw a lot of contact requests at you, but feel free to ignore them until you get your profile all set. Uh, and once you hit the big old done editing button, you can start going around and finding all the contacts to your heart's content. It makes it very simple to do that. Um, it'll use your education, your email, your interests, and all that stuff to suggest people. So it'll find friends, partners, colleagues, classmates, group members, uh, other companies that might be interested in you, which is very cool, um, locations, and then you could also just sort it by industry, which is also very helpful if you're in higher education versus e-learning. Obviously those are two different things, but slightly similar, so they have a different number of uh, connections possible. So in higher education, for example, you could connect with these folks. Uh, okay. That should be enough to get you started, and I would suggest always viewing your profile here. Um, and you can always click on this link right here to view your public profile, which is what it will appear like to everybody else. So this shows everybody the nuts and bolts of your life, and good luck using LinkedIn to get a job or just improve your life.